Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. Here we're going to work with words again and we're working with the word reappears. So it's got quite a few repeating letters. They say repetition is not allowed and then they say how many words can be formed. So what we've got is we've got the word reappear. So I'm just going to write this out and okay, so we've got nine different letters. So I'm going to open up nine different letters. Okay, and this will be our choice and then let's actually create a word. So for the first one, we've got nine different options available and let's say we chose this A over here, so that's now gone. We've now got eight options, let's say we chose that E. We've now got seven options, let's say we chose that P over there. We've then got six options, let's say we chose this A over here. We've then got five options, let's say we chose the R. We then have four options, let's say we chose this R. And let's say we chose, we have three options, so we chose the E. We then have two options, let's say we chose the so that's an E, that's a P, and then we have one more option, and that's obviously the S. That's there we go. So this, so that would be the number of words you could make. However, due to the repetitions, we have to be careful, because let's say this A over here is A1, and this A over here is A2. So you and this might be A1, and this is A2. But then in a different scenario, someone else might have chosen A2 over here and A1 over here. So mathematically, this would look like two different words, but we can clearly see that there is only one word between those two. So when there are repetitions involved, we have to divide our answer because maths doesn't know the difference between numbers and words. So they'll count that as two different, they count this as two different letters. Meanwhile, us as humans, we know that that's the same letter. So what we have at the moment is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So that's 9 factorial. Then what we're going to do is we're going to divide. And what are we going to divide by? All the repetitions. So we've got two R's. So they're going to, so that's going to become 2 factorial. Then we've got two E's. So let me just do that in a different color. That's E and E. So that's going to be 2 factorial. So that's over there. Then we have two A's over there, and then we have two P's over there. So that's also going to go. So you do each one separately. You don't add them up, okay? And so if you had to go work all of this out, you would end up with 22,680. Now what we're doing is we're saying that the word must start and end with an R, okay? So the quick way to do this, so if we have... Well, now I'm going to show you the long way first. So they want us to have an R and an R. So what you must do is for each of those, just say that there's one option available and one option available, okay? So that was our choices. And then for the, the word, let's say there's an R there and an R there. Now we have, so these R's have now been taken away. I know there were two of them, but you don't put a two over there or there. You just use a one and a one. Now what we have is we have all of these other letters. So let's say we, so we have seven other letters to choose from. So let's say a seven and let's say we chose this E over here. So that'll be an E and then this A. So that's going to be six. And you can see that it's just going to go down again, right? So the fast way to do this would just be to say one times by. Now this whole part here is just going to be seven factorial. And then this one over here we'll put at the end. Then what you must divide by is anything that is repeating but you don't have to look at the stuff that you've already used. So you already used the R and the R. Okay, so you ignore those. Now what is repeating? What's from the leftover stuff, what's repeating? Well, we've got two E's that are repeating. So we'll put a two factorial over there. And then the two P's are repeating. So we'll put a two factorial over there. And then we've got two A's that are repeating. And so we'll put a two factorial over there. We won't use the R's. And so if you go work that out, that's going to give us 630.